is created within us during the process of our evolution. The first one is the most beautiful one because it stands for our innocence. This innocence is the one which gives us real support, real strength. And you'll be surprised, it is never destroyed. It may be shed, overshadowed, there may be clouds, maybe it may look to be a very dark sky, maybe a hopeless case, some people might say that we have destroyed our innocence, it cannot be destroyed. Whatever you might have done, this is one center which cannot be destroyed. You may have problems with it, but it cannot be destroyed. It is such a wonderful center you have got, which has got four petals, which looks after the pelvic plexus, looks after all the excretion within us. In our own freedom, so-called, We do all kinds of things which may not be benevolent for ourselves. Doesn't matter. Kundalini cannot be destroyed. The source which is going to give you the Self-realization, I say she is your individual mother. And this mother is such a loving mother and she knows each and everything about you from your past, from your past lives. She knows you very well. She's just waiting for a chance that she can be awakened and she can give you your second birth. So what happens in the second centers when it enters? You just become dynamic because the center, second center is for aesthetics and for creativity. Because their Kundalini goes up and the creativity becomes so tremendously active and so dynamic. At the same time, that person becomes very mild, very sweet, very compassionate. So this violence, this anger, this temper, it's not your creation, it's the creation of your liver. Your liver is little out of order because of many things and the temper is there. Now, when that temper is too much, you don't know what to do. I mean, you can do whatever you like. In your temper, after all, it's like a drunken personality. You have to approach a person in a temper with a barge pole. But all this temper, everything becomes so cool and so beautiful. It's very surprising. A very dynamic person becomes extremely compassionate. So in Sahaja Yoga, an artist who is struggling today may become a great artist tomorrow. But still I would say these are temptations. You'll become a great artist, you start earning more money, this, that. But that's not the one you have to really be satisfied with. You will never be satisfied with that. So you move to the third center, which we call as the Navi Chakra. This center is, on one side, is made of water, another side with fire. Around it are our ten valencies, which we can call as our innate religion within ourselves. Now this Nabi itself, or we can call the solar plexus, or we can say uh, the navel chakra, gives us, as soon as the Kundalini rises, she awakens this and the light when it spreads. You become religious. I don't have to tell you anything. You just become. I don't have to say that you don't take drugs. You just don't take it. Overnight I have seen people have given up drugs. 
overnight alcoholism, overnight everything, and they enjoy their virtues. That's the best part of it. Some people think, oh, then what is the fun? What is this that you take something in the pub and next day you have a hangover? Here you take something and next day you are much better off. It never comes down. It never gives you a reaction. It's not artificial. It's not intoxicating. It is from your nerves. It's bubbling out. So this is the center which is very important in us because most of us have a problem with this center. And here we have uh, a capacity by this center that we enjoy our generosity. Now we have the center which we call here as the heart center. It controls the left and right both. So we have a left and right heart in Sahaja Yoga. As you know that in childhood, till the twelve years of age, the thymus, this sternum bone creates the antibodies for you. And these antibodies fight your diseases. So when this center goes out, this is the center which sends, sends all the messages to these antibodies. Now this is the center of a mother. When your motherhood is challenged, you develop breast cancer. Supposing a man is a flirt and his wife is worried, she might get a blood, breast cancer because her motherhood is challenged. And her sense of security is very disturbed. As a result of that, she gets this problem. But do you know this is the center of her husband or of the father? Now, if I am telling you, you should not be shocked because later on you will find it. Now, if you are a bad husband, you can get asthma, or if your wife is a shrew, you might get an asthma, or if you are a very bad father, you might get an asthma, or if your father is not kind to you, you might get an asthma. If you have not forgiven your father, you might get asthma. The left heart is the place of the mother. Now, if your mother has been hard with you, if you have had very bad experiences, you will have problems of the left heart. Center heart is very important where your sense of security should be established. You will be surprised in the disease called AIDS, is the center heart which is out. We have tried to cure, and we cured also three, four people from AIDS, but they have no willpower to continue with surgery. So then we come to this center, which is, we call as the Vishuddhi. This is sixteen petals, looks after the cervical plexus. Now this is a very, very important center, and this is the center is for communication. Also when we think we are very responsible, the center goes out. But once you become a Sahaja Yogi, you just do it, no doubt, but you don't think that you are doing it, you just say it's happening. And what a beautiful feeling it is. Then you don't have blood pressures, you don't have headaches, uh, you don't have uh, tensions, no, because we are not doing it, it's just done. And you find it's all done. Now on this center when we come, as I told you, your thinking is controlled by you. You can control. If you want, you can think or you don't think. But in that silence you feel your peace. If there's too much of crowds, too much of problems, suddenly you become the witness. You start seeing everything. 
seeing the problem, what it is. Unless and until you can see the problem, you cannot solve it. Because you are in the problem, you just get upset. But if you are out of the problem, you can see it. And that's what happens to you when you become thoughtlessly aware when this center opens out. Last but not the least is the center of limbic area, which is very important. Now, I do not know it has been discovered or not, but will be very soon discovered that very strong uh, things like cracks and all that have got sulfuric acid in it. And that doesn't go anywhere in the body, just rushes into the limbic area. Now, this limbic area is a hollow place which has got all cells here very sensitive to joy, happiness, but they become numb so numb that ordinary music you cannot hear. Somebody has to scream at you, has to shout at you, has to jump on you, otherwise you cannot enjoy. Then it has to be worse and worse and worse and worse. I don't know, now with cracks, later on they might develop something even more poisonous because it has to excite this limbic area, which is such an important thing. But as soon as the Kundalini enters into that area, limbic area, she soothes, she soothes it and it opens, opens like a lotus, thousand petal lotus. It opens and then the Kundalini emerges out of your fontanelle bone area and gets connected to the all-pervading power. Then you start feeling the cool breeze in your hand. You can feel it all over. Some people in the beginning who felt cool breeze would not believe it. So they closed doors, everything, and sat down to see. Still they were feeling it. But it works. Works in the sense that you get empowered. You become peaceful. You become the witness. You become the wise and you become empowered that you can give realizations to others like this, that you can raise their Kundalini like this, and you can establish that connection, you can do it. And this is what is your right to have it. This is what will give you meaning. Otherwise, so far, whatever we have, doing, we have been doing is very frustrating.